So this video took at least a month to make. I decided that I wanted to show you that it's not always just total luck. I go often. I go to all different thrift stores whenever I can. Sometimes I'm just squeezing in five minutes or 10 minutes, and then I devote entire days to thrifting as well. This video will show you what it takes, that you have to kind of be committed and that it's definitely worth it in the end. In the end, there will be a haul, a full recap of everything that I got over the course of the month. Please enjoy. Oh, that's okay. beautiful. Are you really going to? It's five dollars. Uh -huh. Oh, there's lots of women's work. I like when old antique women's work. So it's here. If there's anything new, I'm not seeing anything. Heart of gold, heart of gold. Let's have the uh, chips. Mm, nothing, nothing, nothing. Nope. Oh, these are fun. Probably Lucky Brand. Check those. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Let's check those. Ooh, these are cool. I like these. Check those. Mm. Check those. Oh, another pair. Interesting. Okay. Well. Oh, these are pretty. I like the way they're layered. Oh, yeah. Check those for sure. So far, I'm checking these. Oh, those look good. I check those. I got one more. I got one more side. See the vertigree, the green. Okay. Oh no, this is where I started. Okay, so I'm checking one, two, three, four, five things. Six pairs, five things. Checking, checking, checking. Oh look. I don't know why that's there, but we'll put her back up. And uh Ah, oh, you do, do you? Oh this. This is that's new. Fun little scarab. Down there with this is still here. I feel like I've been here frequently enough where I have seen all of this already. That's interesting, vertigree. It's kind of beautiful. I don't know. How much is it? It's four dollars. Yeah, I feel like we can find those. This looks vintage. Let me see. No, it's not. See the class? No. All right. So what are you looking at? See anything? Oh, yeah. No, I, I've seen that before. That's, it's like more, it's too, it's, it, you can find them other places. You know, that's a Brighton. If you like Brighton. Yeah. 
All right, so that's it. So this is all I'm checking today. Okay, so out of all of these, these are a yes. These are a no. These are a no. These are a yes. And both of these are yes, and they are signed. But you're going to have to wait until the end. Watch the whole recap to find out what these are signed and why they are a yes. So Laura was just here, but she didn't see the rose quartz. And I really like it. It's got an old barrel clasp. Um, I really like this. Yeah, this will be under the video, everybody. This is going to be under the video. If you like it, it's going to be $15. First come, first serve. Thank you. Okay. I see a signature on this scarf. And it says nothing. Anything good, Laura? Look, did you see this? Look how beautiful. Coffee pot, teapot, creamer, sugar. It's De Manafort silver plate. $75. Oh, look, what is it? It looks like it's delicious. It looks delicious. Don, buy. She's like, buy it, Don. Buy it, Don. I buy. Oh, look at all the baskets, Laura. You love these baskets. That's cute. Oh, I like this. This is a planter. It's a pigeon. And then this little turtle is awesome. I've got more stuff that needs to come out. Come on, get this. Okay. All right. I'm on it. Oh, this is beautiful. This is like carved. Oh, little... It's stone. Mm -hmm. It's painted stone. I buy that. Oh, it's got a chip though. Oh, I can't. All right. This is so delicate and gorgeous. Oh. I know. It's got. Oh, those are awesome. Our so place. These, these are things, the ramekins or coffee cups. Yeah. So this is thirty dollars for thirty. That's amazing. All right, everyone. These are going out now. Come and get them if you're local. They're awesome. <laughs> and then this. Look. This is beautiful. So really. Oh, oh, this. Yeah. This is Maureen, this is Laura. Hi, how are you? I love this. Set. So cute little espressos. Are these cookie jars? Look at awesome, awesome. Oh, flour and sugar. Oh, okay. Okay, little miss, little miss know it all. Ooh, I love these. Look at these butterflies. I was I was here one day and this woman pulled out a Darth Vader cookie. Oh my God! I can't believe that just happened. This is a stormtrooper one. I can't even believe it. It's a stormtrooper cookie cookie shaper. Yeah. Okay. I just can't believe it because I was saying, what is this? It's a little, 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 it's, it's like onyx or alabaster or a little thing. Oh, I need a decent corkscrew. I need a large, I have a tiny, tiny corkscrew. I need a bigger one. This would be the place to look. 
Let's see what you, I see one. I see one. Come here, you. Thank you. One dollar. Perfect. Okay. Angels. Angels. Is that it? What is it? Oh, it's a car. No, it's a, I don't know what it is. Okay. Does anyone know what that is? What is it? Is it a turtle? It's a, it's a fish. It's a fish. Okay. It's a shark. There's too many. Oh, what is this? What is it? What does it do? Is it like for hand towels? Very cool. Oh, it's a drying rack. It's anything you want it to be. Look, it's another anything you want it to be. I feel like this is very... It's a toy. I feel like it could be for bananas or to or for, for glasses. It's very Scandinavian looking to me. That's something that you might find out about here. Yeah. So you could use it to put a hot... Oh, it's a trivet. A red or a trivet. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> On tape. Okay. <laughs> what are you talking about? For retirement? I, Vacation. Oh, no. I just got back. Oh, no. I'll miss you. I am going to miss so so much. You know, but you, I am at that point. You're, last year. I put this down so I could turn it upside down and look at it, and I saw this. Look. And it's in a pottery frame. And it's a bird, and it's $4. And someone really, really made this. All right, okay. Well, I'll Google it. I'm going to Google this. And now I'm going back to see what that says. Oh, Patent Japan. Okay. I like that it looks like a chain. I'm going to see if this glows. So I tried to do a Google search and I couldn't find anything related. There were things that were coming up as original paintings. It's definitely an original, and it's signed, and I really love it, so I'm going to get it. Oh, that's still here. I s oh, uh, Laura. I love it. Is it Ann Taylor? What is it? It looks like I always check the mannequins for jewelry. It's a good habit to get into. This is very nice. I've seen this for a while, this uh, faux horn. Beautiful. Stretchy. It's nothing. Okay, let's see what else is here. I feel like I'm really starting to miss um, my favorite thrift store. I want to go back to my favorite thrift store. Ooh, Buxton. Ladies. Initial belt. Okay. Didn't know they made those. Ooh, what's this? No. Okay. Go here fast. I just looked at the jump ring in case you were wondering, and I saw that it was a pretty low quality costume. What is this? Oh, it is. It's can't see the shape. Okay, I'll check that with the loop because I can't tell what's going on. <laughs> These are still here. Yeah, the necklace was sold. Ooh. That looks like amber. Bob 
sour cream. Hmm. Little bookmark. That has an older, older look. Oh, come on, you. Mm, you know, it's cool, but it's not really anything. So the music's playing pretty loud, so this might be well edited. And this is, these are cute little hearts. These look like Haleyashi. I'll check them. Okay, so this is all that I'm checking. The amber, I think that's amber. That's cool. Let me put all this back in here. And these. Should I check the glass? If I can tell, it's really nothing. No, we'll leave that. We'll leave that. That's That's been there. This is new. Look how it's a flat net. This is cold. Ooh, is that a black chain? It is. Here's the clasp. What does it say? All right, we'll check that. I can't see it with the loop without my loop. Ooh, look at this. This is um, pretty authentic. That's suede. It's beautiful, um, and it's, oh, it just, the tag just came off. It was $3. This is beautiful and has some value, but it's just not my thing. Ooh, wait a minute. This is old. Look at this metal. Okay, this is $4. That's a score. I don't even have to check it, so... And now that makes me want this too. Okay, now we're on this part of the wall. This is the last wall that I do. These are the things that fall off. So let's have a look, see if we see anything. No, this I've looked at before. Chickens. No. The first thing I see is chickens. No. <laughs> This very costume. Oh, oh, look at this. Okay, so this is that Monet chain, but it's the it's the one that's not that long. See that? It's it's a shorty. It's not it's not the same. Um, yeah, and it's it's in not good condition. So we'll pass on that. This is pretty. No this oh it's all one piece okay no this is interesting no oh oh is this crystal or plastic this might be plastic we'll, we'll check that one this is a beautiful useful chain for three dollars yeah i like it nice vintage chain that we've seen that we've seen that's new, not good quality. This, this is all stuff. Yeah, this is all thing. Oh, no. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, it's eight dollars, and yeah, it's not the best. It's not the best. We can leave that. What else is here? Oh, oh. Ooh, Anne Klein, Anne Klein logo. How much are you? This is cool. Oh, $4. We're going to get that. Don't even need to check it. And then, what is this? You know, this chain we've seen. Oh, how did I go? How did my eye go? Oh, because it's plastic. Okay, what is this? This feels good quality. I'm gonna check it just in case. Design is one of those. Oh, this I checked, it just says Lisa. It's not anything. Let's see what this is. No. No, no, no. Okay. So, 
No. All right, so not a not bad. Quite a few. What is this? Oh, this is that that fake vintage. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this still has a tag on it. Hand knotted. Okay. <laughs> Hand knotted plastic. This is kind of a cool. This is made to look like vintage, but it's not vintage. It's newer. Oh, these are good. Kind of a nice quality. What does it say? Oh, I'll oh, grab it. I can't read it. It's too high up. Okay. All right. So some things to check once again. Okay, everyone. I'm in the art section here because I got a whole bunch of emails. Everyone was telling me like, oh, there's a Gorman. It could be an original. It could be important. You picked it up. You looked at it. It was small. Um, and so I'm back for that and it's not here. It was, it was right there. Now it's gone. I've already looked through everything. Just so you know, I just did it fast because I wanted to find it. Also, all the Southwest things are gone. The lighthouse is gone. So I guess there was some good art here and somebody knew what it was. Oh, that's the Grand Canyon. That's pretty cool. Um, I did get something that, oh look, this is an old cross stitch. Very pretty. Look at the cat. It has a cat with kittens and a frog and an elephant and an owl and a kangaroo <laughs> and a duck. <laughs> very, very sweet. Very, very sweet. Um, Sarah Clear. Okay. All right. I will show you what I did find. I found this uh, Picasso print. So I'm gonna I'm gonna Google this because and it's in this great old frame. It's probably around the 60s. Let me check the back. All right, so there's the back. What does it say? Let me see more. Made in USA. All right, I'll Google it. So this is probably one of the best things I've ever found. It's a vintage from the 60s Picasso mother and child lithograph in the old frame. Um, there, it's called Picasso, Pablo Picasso, 1922, Mother and Child. And it's, uh, these go for unframed, $200, just the lithograph. And then there are some on first dibs in other places, 500, 600, 450, etc. And they're not as nice as this. So this will be available underneath the video, everybody. On the shelf, underneath the video. And it's sort of a perk if you're a viewer because it's a pre-sale so um so that'll be a good deal if you love it grab it See if there's anything here. I don't know where they put the glass now because the purses are where I used to find the beautiful glassware, like the old paperweights. Like I found some really good French vases and paperweights. And now this just looks like this, the things that were always here. This is like the kitchen and dining part of glass and china um so where did they put this looks flocked it is flocked candle holder that's cute salute where would it oh look at those those are very modern oh that's fun 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 blue wow look at all those mirrors those are kind of cool a lot of them it's almost too crowded oh look at this he's a little he's a little wobbly but he can be tightened He's genuinely old. 
and he's marked. He's kind of, hey, is that a scale? Oh, it's a, okay, for a second I thought it was a shipping scale. All right, I'm going to look and see what this says. That's a lid to something. This is pretty. It's very dusty. I like the pot. Oh, look at the beautiful pot that that is in. That's all mosaic. Uh, gorgeous. What does it say? Oh, it's from TJ Maxx. Does it say it was originally $6.99? Oh, wow. That's got to be an oldie. There's no way that would be $6.99 today. This is nice for $4.99. Just this china. It's really well done. Look at the butterflies on the inside. Not my niche. Not my niche. Although I'm always open to finding good glassware. It's a carrot. Oh, this is another one. Oh, this is much heavier. Oh, it's a pitcher. Oh, look at him. Oh, wow. He's fabulous. He's fabulous. Oh, he's so heavy. Oh, no, 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 no. Too heavy, too new. So where is the best? Oh, maybe they moved it upstairs because the purses are downstairs. So maybe they moved the... the um, Glassware upstairs. This looks like um, bits and plate. No, it's really cheap. Really, really cheap. This is beautiful. I think it's like a copy of Bohemian glass. I, it's not. It's too thick. It's not. It's not the real thing. Not the real thing. That's copper. Oh, that, that's um, a vase that goes in a stand like that. It's beautiful. It's also written on, which is not a big deal, but it's just, um, oh, look at that. Oh, this is nice. No, oh, that is marble. That is carved marble. So I can't ship it. It, it weighs a ton. What is this? I want this for myself. Stand by. Oh my god. What the heck? I just liked the box. The, okay, so this is it. I thought that this was a black lacquerware box. Oh, it's $249. I thought it was $24.99. That's samurai. That's samurai stuff. Okay, I can't get it. I can't get it. It's $249. They should really have this in a case somewhere. Okay, that looks really good. Oh, it's chipped. It's chipped. Yeah. And I don't know. I just I just really love the color. I love the color. Baby shoes. Still loving this. I love this store so much. I wish this is so well done and it's not chipped or anything. This is modern. That's beautiful. Love the color of this. This is like recycled Mexican. Oh my gosh. Okay. It, it's okay. That's the real deal. That's like an antique deep sea diving helmet. Oh, the glass is in there. That's wild. Someone took the tag off. Oh, $249. So it's all purses here now. This, that's the jewelry counter. This is where it used to be all the good glass. This was like my second favorite place to come after the jewelry. And now it's just all purses. That's a coach. It's real, but it's been it's it's well used. It's too well used for thirty nine ninety nine. All right, we'll do a quick go through. See if there's anything good. Dooney, also well used. See if anything catches my eye. 
Anything excites me, as Danny Ackerman, the niche lady, would say when she's going through purses, if she sees anything intriguing that catches her eye. No, not good quality. See the zipper? That's plastic. This is cute. It's a uh, Ralph Lauren Polo. $29.99. No, not in love with it. I want it. I want a tall fo I want a tall totally. No. I want to fall totally look at the old chaps. I want to fall totally in love. That's the criteria for the purse. It has to be something so great that I feel like I have to keep it. And then I know that it'll be good and that everyone else will want it too. If it's hard, ooh, I like this color. That's a good tote. Nope, worn. This is an old 70s, not good quality. Not enough, it's good quality, but it's not really good quality. Okay, so for all the people that said Rosetti is not a good brand, it used to be. If you find vintage Rosetti, vintage Rosetti, it is a good brand, okay? Not the newer stuff. It's gone downhill. That's a nice pebbled leather, but so worn on the side. This is very cute. Don't need it. That's not real leather. Looks, looks good, but no. That 70s snake, burgundy and black. No. Messed up. This would be good. No, that's totally faux. Oh, hello. You're cute. Oh, when you see bags that are wrapped in plastic like this, it means they're copies. Okay, so this is, uh, although it says Land's End, so that might just be, this is pretty. That's a really pretty pebbled leather. No, we don't need it. We don't need it. Well, how much is it? Oh, no, it's $40. No, no, no. Okay. Put you back. I like this. This is like a um, copy of a sort of Goyard style. I've always wanted a Goyard. Oh, it's Victoria's Secret. No, 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 definitely not. This was like gift with purchase. No way. No way. That's plastic. It's pretty, but it's plastic. This is 80s. This is kind of cool. No. No, no, I feel like we already have things like that in our closet. This is cool. It's a, this is eel. Okay, that's black eel. It's a cool one. But no, it's in rough condition. See, there's this, everything has to be perfect. Oh, what is this? That's fun, but no, it's not. It's too quirky, you know. Uh, oh, this is beautiful. Oh, look at the buffalo. This is a beautiful bag. How much are you? Oh, I'm excited now. Oh, it's 69. Why is it 69? What is it? Oh. That's gorgeous, though. I'm going to look inside. Okay, that's nice. Nice. Beautiful on the inside. And what does it say? Brooks Brothers. Oh, Brooks Brothers. Wow. It's gorgeous. This is this is a gorgeous bag. I just wish it wasn't $69.99. Well, I'll pick it up. I'll think about it. I'll carry it around for a while. There's one more here that catches my eye. It says $29.99. I can tell it's leather. I like the studs. What's who's made of I? Oh, it's a Michael Kors. It's a Michael Kors. It's a cool tote. No, no, never mind. I see ink on it. This is vintage. Etienne Agner. 
And then this is a very 80s plastic. All right. So we have one possible purse that I'm going to spend time carrying around. <laughs> There's some little ones here. They moved everything. I'm just discovering again. Ooh. I like the denim. Ooh, bedazzled denim. There's a whole there's a group of those. Those are those are not fresh. I just oh, this old beaded thing is beautiful. This is old. Not good quality though. I, I like to find better ones. And I have all those purses from the extreme collector estate. Like this is nylon. This is cute. Look at that. Oh, it had probably mother of pearl tiles. And now they're gone. So that's a no. This is long. That's like for shoes or something. Is this a portfolio? Yeah, that's a portfolio. Cute. Whoa. Other little, little littles. This is so 80s. I don't know. I feel like if we wanted something for evening now, we would choose better. We would choose better than this. U.S. Polo Association. This is cool. Cool shape. Hmm. I like the colors of this one. It's fun. It's $30. Why is it $30? Oh. Because that's somebody. That's somebody. But who? Who is it? I don't know. I can't I can't tell. It's also got a little bit of something on it over there. If you know who this is, if you can read it, I can't read it, and I'm not going to try. But if you can, let me know in the comments. It is cute, color-wise. This is vintage, but cheap when it started. Ooh, here's a... This is cute. Now this, this is so funny, right? Because I would have spent more than $2.99 on this. This is like the best one I've seen. Look at it. It's got a black snake chain. And they've got $2.99 on it. Yes, that's a yes. So let's look and see where the purses used to be. And now it's belt. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can see across the store the scarves are moved. The scarves are my favorite. Oh no, I see them. Quick scan of the dresses. I see a sleeve here. That's a pretty sleeve detail. It's cheaply made. I see this print. Laundry after Poochie. I see this puff sleeve. That's a robe. This is the most 80s thing I've seen in a long time. Look at the big sleeve, <laughs> the big mutton sleeve, the polka dots, the two-tone. All right, let's just, let's just feast our eyes on this guy. That's the back. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is funny. There you go. The roses, the flower, the 80s extravaganza. Okay, let's put it back. I like vests a lot. So I do often check the vest. This is reversible. It's so cute. Faux fur on one side and chunky knit on the other. Quite adorable. Oh, the navy. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love this. Look, it's a turtleneck. A, oh, look at the shape of this thing. Who made this? Oh, it's a Patrizia Luca. This is super high-end, Milano. Does it say $39.99? It does. It says $39.99. They know what they have. Oh, my God. Look at the slit side. 
Ah, it's such a beautiful navy. I'm going to put it in there. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. It's gorgeous. This is cool. That's reflective. Now I'm going to be looking for turtleneck vests forever. <laughs> like that don't open. You know, like it was closed. Like this. That's Oh, no, that has a zipper. This is cute. Okay, when you see things like this, this is good because it reads like a puff sleeve. But I think this is real fur. So I'm not going to get that. That's pretty. Not as good as it looks. It reads really well. But um, see the reverse? It's, it's different. That's the right side. Okay. Not good. Ooh. What an adorable Lady Carol for $9.99. So this is, this looks like a vintage large size. I'm digging this. I'm digging it a lot. I think I'm going to take this home and wash it. It's got a faux wrap and a little bit of a puff sleeve. Yep. That's a definite. Now back to the scarves. You know, it just occurred to me, I know they opened a furniture store. So maybe that's where all the, oh my gosh, what are you? That's silk satin. That's silk velvet, 100% silk. Oh, and the tag is still on it. So never, oh boy, $4.99. This is vintage, this is beautiful. Oh, and it's ruched on this side. Look at that silk. I'm going to get this. I'll just include it in with the, um, with the extreme collector estate scarves that I have. See, now this is not as good. Like, you would look at this and go, oh, beautiful. This is so crunchy in here. Like, crunchy. So that's a no. All right. Well, that's a score. This is a huge score. This is a huge black score silk velvet and satin black satin black black silk satin black silk velvet ruched beautiful new with tags vintage 1980s gorgeous it's 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 beautiful it's opulent so anyway i have a feeling that i have to go find the furniture which means I probably have to pay first. I think it's in another building, but that's probably where they put all those um, decorative housewares. This color caught me. It's nice. Is it nice? I can't tell. Oh, it's big. It's really big. It's almost like a beach cover up. That is very long. I, you know what, this is so long that it makes it wonderful. And, and it's beautiful. I'm getting it. It's, it's the size of a bed. It's so great. Oh, ooh, what are you? Dawn, you need to stop. No, you're nothing. All right. Hold. Leather. Someone's hiding this purse. Someone's hiding this purse. For $19.99. It's, uh, it's pretty great. Oh, it's just a B. Mikowski. I love B. Mikowski. I, I, some of my favorite purses in life were B. Mikowski. All right. You know what? I'm going to be nice, and I'm going to hide it again. For the person who hid it, you can thank me later. I'm putting it right back there for you. Okay. All, all, all camouflaged. You'd never know it was there. <laughs> this looks vintage. I like the neck. It is, in fact, it is La Blouse. It was a 10. I don't know. I kind of have a lot of these sort of polyester secretary blouses. But I really like this one. 
and I can wear pins on on it up here. I really like this one. Six ninety nine. I'm gonna get it. I don't. I, it's too hard to think about it. If I don't like it, I'll donate it again in the cart. So I am considering putting all the little little secretary dresses back. All those little seven ninety nine and ten ninety nine things. I'm considering putting them all back and getting the thing I really want, which is really high quality, which is European, uh, for $39.99. I'm going to show it to you on. It's superb, I can tell you. It's Patrizia Luca, Italian. All right, I'm going to take that out. Yeah. I know my mic is covered, but I'm going to tell you I'm going to do this. I'm just going to do this one. It's it's so wonderful. It's so wonderful. Look how cute and you can wear a puff sleeve with it. So I am still getting this though, the 80s velvet silk satin silk velvet wrap. And this this is superb. Look how beautiful. Getting that too. And this one, okay, so when I saw this hanging on the shelf, what I didn't say out loud, but what I was thinking was Lucille Ball on The Tonight Show. Or was it Dick Cabot? I think it was The Tonight Show. She had a diamond heart that she wore on a blouse like this, and it looked so good. And I'm still going to get this. I'm still getting this one. It's a... Uh, it's old. It's really good vintage, really easy to wear. So that's a yes. <laughs> Great news. They told me where the furniture store is. It's actually upstairs. They have a fourth floor now. So I'm going to go up. I'm going to check it out. They're saying it's 25% off yellow tags up there. So let's go and see. Maybe that's where the decorative housewares are. I'm heading up. Brand new. Just opened. Oh, this space is pretty. Wow, it's hot. It's hot. But look at that beautiful space. Also, I don't know about the fans. They might be, they might be, uh, oh, look at all the art. Okay, we will check, oh, oh boy. Look at this old floor, this old warehouse floor. I feel like there's treasure here, piano. She's fabulous. Fabulous. All right. Um, okay. Uh, back to the art. Mirrors. Pretty, pretty. Wow. So many mirrors. I like that one. This one's good. And it's $99, so that would be $75. That would be $75. That's a great old mirror. Um, I could use it, actually. I just, ooh, that's fabulous. Look at this New York City painting. Wait. Oh, it's a print. It's a print. Oh, boy. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's from Home Goods. All right. <laughs> okay. That would have been something I had to pick up. Um, there's so much here. That looks, that's also a print. That's, is that a blue horse? I knew an artist that did these things like this. And it says, turn it over, and it says, Oh, Ellen Reinkraut, nude on paper, 175, no, nude, oil on paper, nude number four. Okay, so that's authentic. It is now $79.99. The red dot, by the way, when you see red dots, that means it was sold by the gallery. That would be 60 I should probably Google her. I'll Google her. 
That's a nice piece of art. I'm just looking around for some. Oh, I love this China sweet China 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 swar China. I can't say it anyway. Chinasserie, chinasserie. There it is. Beautiful. Someone grabbed it. It's sold. All right. They have rugs and bolts of fabric. Wow, this place, I love the black one. Love it. They have everything. Shelving is what I'm looking for next. To find a place, oh, those are good shelves. $39.99, not bad. I like this etagere. Oh, that's a beautiful table. Look at that coffee table. That's gorgeous. $49.99. Okay, that belongs in a really good uh, furniture store in Hudson, New York. That's lovely. What are they calling it? Wooden baker's rack with glass tops. Okay, so it's wood with brass. That's great. It's one nineteen. So I Googled it, and it's um, Ellen Reinkraut, Studio Montclair. Uh, she is a registered artist, um, but I don't think that I like this enough. Um, you know, I, it's like art to me, when I buy art, it has to be something that speaks to me, that I can relate to, that I feel an instant sort of kinship with or you know it helps me to understand something or filter something so this i'm not getting those feelings from i think it's beautiful and i think it's valuable but i'm not going to get it i am back at trinity and look at that beautiful thing they have it in the window that looks uh those are real that's real gemstone beautiful stand it says it's sixty dollars sure. look how nice this is this is good 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 that's lapis so smooth it has this um which is like a level or something on the bottom there's water in there and $60 lapis. Yeah, look, Ugh. that's a great price. They gave it a great price. I love it. Do you see what I see? It's that, this. This is a boiler suit. It's a size 40, it's $12. That is about a woman's 10. And these are forever. They're great on women when you find a good one. This is that good cotton canvas. Uh, I have a military one that I have been offered hundreds upon hundreds for. I don't recognize this label, but it's European sizing clearly. All right, that's a score. I'm so happy I came in today. No, suede. Oh. This is vintage. Mm, this is not suede. This is perfectly patinaed leather like I haven't seen in years since California. I had one that I got in Cal. Oh, well, oh, it's the territory ahead. Okay, it's a size small. So women, oh, it's unisex. It's beautiful, look at the patina. Can you see that? Oh, it's like an old Chesterfield. I love this. I am paying $25 for that.
you know, part of doing this is understanding that you can go for days without seeing anything. Ooh, it's an old Chadwick's. These have corset shapes. Oh my gosh, they never took the tag off. It's $35. This is vintage, everybody. And they, I remember these. Like, I had a, um, a, a redding coat or a riding coat from Chadwick's that was a blue pinstripe, like, with the, with the corset thing in the back. And I wish it still fit me. Um, I am not the size I was when I had that. If I ever found one larger, I would be so happy. It's a great color. I think I'm going to pass on it. What else is in here? Oh, that's so vintage. <gasps> Look at the shape of that pocket diagonal. Oh. Okay, you're coming front and center. <sighs> Made in England. That's 60s. That's cute. Well, you know what? I donated this. <laughs> this came from me. I donated this. Never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's hysterical. I donated it because I didn't... I just felt I had so many other things to... Um, to, sh to, to sell and to go through, you know, like I, I have so much stored that I was like, I don't need to worry about that one jacket and it would be difficult to ship and the size and it's not really my niche anymore. So that's why it didn't make it to you guys. That's cool. For European, it's a European sizing. Look, it's on mesh and it's a moto. I'm loving this. It's only $20. Okay, we're going to get that. And even though it says it's a 40 and it's a small, these have a magical way of fitting a lot of different people. So I'm going to check it. But look at the curve over the hip. See that, that curve there? This is very cool. It's a, it's a European thing, you know. So um, the sleeve is great. It's really well made. I'm going to grab this for somebody. All right. So this will be coming up. And it'll probably be underneath the video. So check the shelf underneath the video, first come, first serve. Now, let's see what's at the furniture gallery and the barn. We have some director's chairs. Nice vintage on those. Ooh, rocking chair. Ooh, little children's table. Sweet, lots of new stuff already. I can tell, ooh, that's pretty. Look how chipped that is. Crazy. This, I don't even know what it is. If you know what this is, this is three pieces. If you know what that's for, let me know in the comments. I'm always learning. Oh, sold. Oh, score, score, score. Okay. That's what happens. He who snoozeth, loseth. Someone's project came out good. Nice lamp. Got a pipe. Oh, there's two of them. I still love these chairs. <sighs> Those are awesome. Oh, there's a lid. No, okay. Mm -mm. No, it's great. Always great. It's pretty. Feels good. Oh, is that a peacock? It is. Wedgwood. Whoa. Five dollars. Not getting it. Love it. Not getting it. That's awesome. This chair. Great. Okay. We'll see if I can step into the, oh, I used to make these flowers. I used to make these flowers. I made a lot of them. That's awesome. On my way out the door, and the question of the day is, how did I miss all the glass? I walked right past it. Let's see how good my eye is. I feel like, this one's good. 
and this one's good. This reminds me of that artist that does things in Lucite. Um, it's an elephant. I'm holding it by its trunk. I should not be doing that. There you go. I feel like the bird is good. Could be wrong. The frog is awesome, but yeah, I don't think it's any. I don't think they're actually, I don't think any of them are anything. I just like this one a lot. That could be something. Oh yeah, that's signed. Let's see what it says. Stand by. I can't read it. So I'm just going to grab it because I also see the note on the inside. And that's usually a good sign. So, and I also love it. Look at the, and it's in perfect condition. So that we're going to grab. So this, I thought it was five, it was six, but look how aesthetically beautiful. I love this. This is so beautiful. Uh, look at that shape. And then the note on the, oh, there's a feather. Oh, there's a feather on the inside. And then the note says Northwest Indian Pottery M Blacktail Deer SPRC SD. So South Dakota, there it is. Wow, stay tuned till the end for the full recap. I'm gonna research it and hopefully I'll be able to tell you something by the end. In Trinity, on the first day of thrifting are these sterling silver double pearl drop earrings. I paid $4 for these and they sell for around 20. They are beautiful. I also got these. These are totally unmarked, but they're very artful and I had a good feeling about them. Look at them. I thought maybe they were Haleyashi. Haleyashi, I have seen solids like this in a sort of rose gold color. Turns out that they're silver and they're beautiful. Look at that, really well done, beautiful. Actually, these posts might be gold now that I'm looking at them. So I bought these for $4 and these should sell also for around $25 to $45. The Sorelli Blue, okay, so these sell for about $75 at least they had two pairs which was so interesting and i already sold the other pair at auction this beautiful thing i am selling i have not been able to get any comps on anything like this um i've seen things not quite like it that are called paintings it is a painting it's under glass it's like painted foil you see that? It's very dimensional. And then the frame is pottery that someone made. So really, really delightful, one of a kind piece of art. Here's what the back looks like. Someone really made this. You see the pencil line and the way the pottery is attached and there's the signature. Next up from Habitat Restore, we have the beautiful old egg yolk amber pin. Look at that. Beautiful. It's large. Super nice. These brushed gold. These came out next. I paid a dollar for these. I think these are Clara Studio. Look how nice. Okay, the way that you can tell is that back, you see that sort of pattern on the back there that's very Clara Studio and also the brushed gold and how smooth and perfect they are. And they're Huggies, they're super nice. I paid a dollar, they're probably worth, I don't know, 25 to 45. I also paid a dollar for the lovely little Haleyashi hearts. And these, I don't know how much they're worth. They're pretty rare. And she's not making them anymore. These are gold filled 
12 karat gold filled wires. So these will be coming up at auction if you're a reseller and you'd like to see what they actually go for or if you're interested in bidding, then join us for the auction Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern. This is not crystal. <laughs> it's so nice, but it's not crystal. Look, they're big. Uh, it's, uh, it's glass. Isn't it beautiful? Definitely not crystal though, but I love it. And it's nice in the silver tone. And I paid $4 for that. This one I paid $5 for. This is a signed Carol Lee. This is an old Carol Lee signed. These are worth quite a bit. There's the actual color. I don't know. They're, they're looking very yellow in this light all of a sudden. But that is the actual color of the pearl three strand, all gold. Perfect. This one I will start at auction at $45. The Native American bone. This is not tourist. This is the real deal. Look at this. This is all bone. Okay, look at the way this was made. Beautiful. This is an older one. That also will be up, coming up for auction. I love the condition of this. These are, these are, um, fragile. So to see it in such nice condition and so sturdy, you know, um, like it's, it's not, uh, it's not fragile right now. You know, it's, it's really good. So that'll be coming up at auction. Then there's this one. This is bone and look at that very kind of deco design in the metal. And it does have a correct clasp for the deco period. I feel like this is either deco or 1970s the 1970s did things like you know it's i'm really thinking deco though look at that geometry and the the metal that's there so we're going to say art deco um bone this was right next to this it probably came from the same collection so here's the note for the little vase northwest indian pottery and black tail deer SPRC uh, SD, so something reservation, South Dakota. Um, I saw recently on the Niche Ladies channel, she had a black tail deer little vase. Um, I really love the colors in this one and I love the shape. And it's a little one, you know? So it's really nice. I paid $6 for it. It's probably worth 25 to 35. Look at that shape though, so nice. And whoever gets it, you're also going to get the yellow feather that was inside it with the note. And that will be under the video for sure. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.